Hey guys, so this is my third exec on esports video, and today we're going to talk about some siege science related stuff, but stuff that will impact esports as well, and pretty significantly actually. Uh, the big the big change that has occurred this week is the spray alignment fix. Uh, I did a video on this where there's misalignment issues when you spray ACOGs, and it's you know it even happens with hollows. It's just not as noticeable. Um, Ubisoft has a fix on the test server, and I'll post some footage of that here later in the video. But it looks like they fixed the spray alignment problem, but it's not a, it's not a guns act a little differently. You'll you'll get a good look at that here towards the later part of the video. But the big part of this video that I want to talk about is something that's been on my mind for a long time, something that has affected the game since the beginning, and it's about it's basically environmental effects and. It's going to sound weird at first because you're going to you're going to be like, what do you mean by environmental effects? It's kind of like it's the type of thing where if there's like a dead pixel on your monitor or there's something that's like slightly misaligned, like like gun misalignment or something like that. But just, you know, like a straight line that all of a sudden is just kind of like jagged for a little bit. And you didn't really notice it at first. Right. Someone points it out to you like, yo, you've got a pixel on your monitor that's dead. And you're, you're like, wait, when did that get there? And then all of a sudden, you, you can no longer stop looking at it, right? Like, it's just your whole focus. This sort of stuff that I'm going to talk about here is a very similar situation. Um, and what, like once you know it exists, uh, it's just something that you notice all the time. So let's just, let's just get right into it. So it's going to be muzzle smoke, dust, blood splatter, screen blur, and sound reduction when you take damage. So with muzzle smoke, let's start with muzzle smoke. Muzzle smoke... Uh, I'll, I'll be posting some examples here. I'll showing you guys some examples here uh, as I kind of talk along here. But muzzle smoke is a very strange. Uh, it's it's done very strangely in Siege. Uh, it's it seems like it's exaggerated based off how dark an area is, and it also depends on the gun. So certain guns are put out more muzzle smoke than others. And you're going to sit here, like I said, it's going to sound ridiculous at first, but once you start to see screenshots and once you start to look at combat and realize how much it's actually impacting the gunplay, it's extremely significant. Uh, the way that muzzle smoke seems to be done is when you fire your gun, the muzzle smoke, you can kind of see it, depends on the lighting, but it's very thin. It's it, You can see through it. You, it's, it's not really impacting your gunfire that much. However, the person looking at you sees something that's way different. It's much thicker, and it makes it very hard to see the person that you're shooting at. Uh, they made changes to smoke grenades, you know, maybe about a year ago, to where it was kind of like the same issue. People could see through smoke grenades, you know, and the person, two people would look through a smoke grenade, and one per, you know, one person could see the other person, but the other person couldn't see each other, like see the other person, right? So there was some like client side discrepancies i think is the best way to describe it and that's what seems to happen with muzzle smoke what happens here is especially in areas behind counters cars um, basically any any situation where the person shooting at you their head is behind is the only thing really showing um the muzzle smoke will obscure your vision you will no longer be able to see and once they start firing you'll just see muzzle smoke you'll just see all this muzzle smoke so you're reaction is to spray into that right like you're just you're you're being shot at by this person i should spray into it however they may not even be there anymore uh one of these clips here is a dock behind or it's a rook i think it's a rook or a dock he's behind a counter and i realize that he's there and i go to, go to spray into that spot as he's shooting at me and all i see is muzzle smoke and then when he uh he repeaks the muzzle smoke he's gonna repeak it he, I, he's, he can see me fine. I can't see him at all, but he can see me fine. So what it causes is a lot of unnecessary spraying. Uh, every player has to deal with this. And it, it can be extremely obnoxious in, like I said, darker areas. But it's extremely impactful when you only see the person's head. So, or their upper body. But even in this case, like here's, here's a clip of Ella. She's running out the front door and she's holding left click on her, her gun and I can barely see her. I can barely see her there. That's not what that looks like from her side. It's much, it's much more reduced and you can see through it just fine. 
Um, but from, from my side, it's extremely thick. You can see the graphics there. It's, it's very thick smoke. So this sort of stuff needs, all the stuff I'm going to talk about needs to be toned down so that we can reduce spraying at just random stuff because you can no longer see a person that, that should not be in a FPS competitive game, right? Like it, these types of effects are okay. in something that's a single player game. I don't like single player game. It adds immersion and stuff like that like it definitely makes things look cooler the problem is is that in this in a esports competitive game or just competitive game in general it lessens the skill gap it adds spring it, it makes it it makes the gunplay basically less skill based and more reliant on just getting random sprays and this next picture is kind of like a combination of everything where there's a smoke he's shooting at a wall there's dust kicking up on the left side i'm firing at him he's also got muzzle smoke i've got muzzle flash on my gun which is kind of a separate issue but all this kind of lands together and i can't see this guy i mean smoke's in there you, you guys can probably see him a little bit but in in the heat of battle it's extremely hard to see people behind all these environmental effects it gets even worse when you start to add blood splatter and screen blur. So my, my dog's shaking off in the background. So screen blur, screen blur happens when you're shot. So here's a picture of what screen blur looks like when you're being, you know, when you're being shot at the impact of screen blur. And it's pretty significant. And then blood splatter. So we've got muzzle smoke, we've got dust. All of that will impact gunplay and then blood splatter. Blood splatter is the one of the more unique situations here so blood splatter the way blood splatter is done is it's client side only so your client side only so when you shoot at somebody and you hit them the blood splatter will occur and only you see that right so the person that you're shooting at like if you play the game you never see your own blood splatter right so the person that's shooting you is the only person that's going to see that blood splatter and what happens is that when you get shot shoulder level neck level areas the blood will then go over the person's head and cover their body another situation here where they're like you know behind a car or a counter or something like that where you don't see a lot of their body they could be pixel peeking something uh they could be prone behind like and only their you know their shoulder and their head sticking out there's a lot of situations where this occurs what happens is that the blood splatter will then cover their entire body or cover the body that you can see and you can no longer see what you're shooting at anymore so what what do you do in that situation you keep spraying you just start spraying because you can't you can no longer see the person but you know that there's incoming shots coming at you right so you just spray um all this stuff needs to be toned down uh, it's been in the game since release and uh it promotes just spraying it doesn't promote skill-based gameplay so my recommendation muzzle smoke dust Blood splatter needs to be reduced significantly. I would not remove it completely, but it needs to be reduced enough to where it's not covering up entire bodies or entire heads, and it's thick enough to where you can no longer see the person you're shooting at. This goes for blood splatter and muzzle smoke. Blood splatter, blood splatter needs to be reduced to a point to where anything that's not a headshot needs to be reduced significantly to a point to where the player can see that they're shooting somebody, but not to a point to where you shoot someone in the, in the shoulder at distance and it covers their entire head and you can no longer see them. And then headshots, headshots should be the only thing where there's just a, you know, obscene amount of blood. And, and, you know, the, the you know, downside of something like that is you might shoot someone in the head and then it covers, you know, a person behind them. But um, we're trying to like, tr you know, it's a middle ground here at this point is to reduce it enough to where it's not impacting fights as significantly as it currently is at the moment. Um, screen blur is the same way. Screen blur, you can take... 10 damage from a shot and your screen goes completely blurry and the effect of that is is basically being stun locked you're you're being stun locked because someone shot you for 10 damage or something like that right and and it, it also is impacted by if they get the first peak right like they could they get the first shot off and now you can no longer see them it's much harder for you to spot them uh spot the player and then you start spraying back Right? You start spraying back in the vicinity. 
Muzzle smoke kicks in, blood splatter kicks in, and you're just spraying at this pile of environmental effects. That's what it gets down to. So all this stuff being toned down would increase the skill gap in the game significantly and allow players to see each other when they're in gunfights better. Like, uh, I mean, I, I understand the immersion side of things and I understand cool looking effects. I get that. But in a competitive esports game, People need to be able to see each other when they're firing. Uh, you know, there's already enough visibility issues like with dark corners and you know, stuff like that, like people meshing in with walls and just based off their clothing and stuff. So uh, you shouldn't be at, at a situation where you're, you're actually now in a gunfight. You both can see each other. And then once that gunfight occurs, you can no longer see, like one person can no longer see the other or you both of you can't see each other and you just all start spraying. It's, it's it's not it's not a good situation for gunplay at the end of the day. The other thing is is sound reduction. So if, I think if you're it's it's either 20 HP or 25. I don't know that the right the exact number, but when you drop below a certain HP, your sound goes out for a certain amount of time. And the the odd thing with that too is that you can you can lose your sound, and then I think you can get shot again, and not if you don't die, your sound goes out again. So you're again, these are all like immersion things, right? Like sound reduction in when you're being shot at in a single player game adds pretty intense immersion, right? Like you're, you're fighting a boss or you're fighting like this horde of you know, whatever zombies or something like that. Just insert, insert a game here and you're low HP. The game is like letting you know, Hey, you're, you're under pressure, man. You got to heal. You got to go do something in siege. There, there is none of that. Like you're, what's your, what you're gonna if you have no sound you just kind of have to guess what to do right like there's no it's not a single player game you have no you don't have no you don't have any health kits or something like that you're just like oh shit i'm low i need to heal right so you sound reduction uh i think sh should just go completely uh i don't mind some sort of effects that cause sound to I don't know something to let you know hey you're low hp um because that's what it's effectively doing is it's like letting you know man you're in trouble but uh getting rid of my sound completely to where i can no longer react is not going to let me react in a proper way right so especially when you're you're taking shots that are coming in your screen's being blurred as well so all of this stuff kind of falls under the same pile of something that has been um on my like on my mind for a long time uh and I'd like to see changed in a competitive game. I feel like Ubisoft is behind when it comes to a lot of the gunplay elements. Like these aren't even, this is just the beginning of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, we could talk about, you know, obviously inconsistent hitboxes when it comes to design, helmets, clothing, stuff like that. And camera sync issues where like, if you, underst like, if you understand how the game works, like the, your first person, your camera is kind of like in your chin area, right? Well, players, when they get shot, their heads move. You ever been killed by someone who's like leaning all the way to the left and you're like, what the hell is that guy doing? Well, that's because you shot them. The animation caused them to turn. But on their client, remember on their client, they're not, they're not being knocked around. Their camera's not being knocked around. So where does their camera go? Their camera will stay here, like where they're, you know, above their neck, but their head is turned over here. So what you know, we'll we'll get into that more down the line. But um, there's a there's a lot some animation issues and stuff like that that I'd like to talk about as well. But this was probably the biggest one: um, muzzle smoke, dust, blood splatter, screen blur, and the sound reduction. I'd like to see all that toned down. I want players to be able to get into fights, and I want skill to to be the you know, the reigning factor on most gunfights and not just people spraying at each other. You know, pro players, you know, the best pro players in the world are having to spray into piles of environmental effects and hope that they kill somebody. And that just needs to be toned down significantly. So um, the, I, I, I hope I got that point across. And if you guys kind of feel the same, um, leave a comment and let Ubisoft know that this stuff is impacting your game because I think I think they need to be like they need to be told that you guys want the change and 
So give them your feedback and let them know, hey, that you know, you'd like to see some of this stuff change. So the other, the other big topic we were going to talk about is the spray alignment fix. I'll show you guys some some footage here where the you know this is on the public server. This is kind of what it looks like when you're you're spraying at a wall and the recoil and then the fix. So the the test server recoil looks it's more vertical uh, initially, and it's definitely it's not as much side to side, more vertical. And with ACOGs, I noticed that there's a there's a hard tug that you feel it. It's it's not the same like on the public server. So you definitely feel it. But the you know, the biggest uh, the biggest part that they've solved is the bullets are no longer misaligned. Like your bullets are hitting right where your crosshair is. It looks great. So they're testing that right now on the test server. I don't know when that's going to go live. I, I don't think it's going to go live right away. I think they're still trying to get feedback. So I did a video on that. I'll post the video link in the description below if you guys don't know the issue. Because this is kind of like in the same area of you know muzzle smoke and stuff like that. People don't know these problems exist um, until they're kind of pointed out and mentioned, and then you're like, oh yeah, now it makes sense, right? Like now, like how many times you've been in a gunfight and you just, you just like all of a sudden you can't see the person. You're just like, what the hell happened? And you go back and look at your video. Yeah, you know, sure. Sometimes they're like pixel peeking you, and sometimes they're you know they're not on your screen. It's a netcode issue. But a lot of times it's just. You can't see the person. They're 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 behind muzzle smoke. They're behind dust. They're uh, you get shot at and your screen goes blurry and you can't react. You just so that's why that's a really big one. But the the spray alignment issue is definitely a good step in the right direction. Um, but at the end of the day, this type of video I want to do more of because I, I I really think Siege is a, Siege is a great game. At the end of the day, they've they've got a very innovative game. You know, we could debate the, you know the, the operators that are coming in, which. We, we, that's a totally different discussion. But at the end of the day, that they've Siege is a very innovative game that's bringing a lot of new stuff to the table, and I want to see it succeed at a competitive level, esports level. And the stuff that we're going to continue to talk about, I think, would not only help that, but even casual, like just people that are playing the game normally, like they need to be able to see the person that they're shooting at better. And right now, it's kind of a mess. Uh, it gets, you know, there's it can snowball to where it's extremely hard to see. And, you know, some days I'll play Siege and everything's fine. Like, I'm seeing everybody, all the gunfights, like, are clean. And then the next day, it's like every gunfight I get into, I'm not seeing the person that's shooting at me. And it's because of these environmental effects. Um, a good chunk of it. Smaller chunks are you know, net code and uh, you know, pixel peaks and stuff like that. So... If you guys like this video let me know uh, i plan to do more of these going forward there's a lot of stuff to talk about when it comes to siege game mechanics and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching